Thank you. You have a visitor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Yes, as it should be by divine way. Let me wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So you know we are dwelling on the, your faith will not fail. I think that is uh, what we are actually dwelling on. Some of us, uh, our action, we sometimes we thought is faith, but it's not biblical faith. I think it is very important to look into those faith that are not biblical. So there are faith. We have faith in faith and faith in yourself and faith in other, like I have mentioned last time. By looking at uh, those things that are not biblical faith, but we see it as faith, but are not biblical. When you know those things that are not biblical faith, you have a better understanding of what biblical faith is. So I will take you to the book of Art 14. So let's quickly look at just a snapping healing that took place when Paul was addressing a congregation. In the city, there sat a man who was lame. That is, a man was there who was lame, could not walk. It had been that way from birth that he was born with it, lame, and uh, had never walked. That is, the man had never, never walked. He was born lame right from birth. He listened to Paul. This man was listening to Paul as he was speaking. A lame man right from birth. He listened to Paul as he was speaking. Paul looked directly at him, a lame man, listened to them. Saw so that he had faith to be healed. Mm. Listen to that. A lame man who was born lame, he was in the meeting when Paul was addressing the congregate. Paul looked at him directly and saw that he had faith to be healed. Do you have faith to receive? That is the question. What faith are they talking about here? Do you have faith to be set free? It may all this demand for your faith. It is not all up to Jesus. Certainly, it is not all up to you. Your genuine willingness plus Jesus' ability. It demands for your faith. Paul saw in him faith. To be healed. Do you have the faith? Here I stand as Paul. Can I say faith to be healed? Faith to be blessed? Faith to be delivered? Can I? A you? It's cause for question. Paul looked directly at him and saw that the man had faith to be healed. If I look at you, can I see faith? Will I see faith? 
what you are calling faith today is mere feeling. You are disturbed. Your heart is not at its best. That is why we allow you to dance, to wipe those troubles. You ask, why dancing in the church? Why so much time dancing, 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 dancing? So that you can forget where you are coming from. Because where you are coming from is full of debt, trouble. Your heart can only be at its best when you are happy, peace of heart. And God can only attract you. The Spirit of God can only attract you, attract your heart. John himself to you to bless you when your heart is at its best. So much trouble. We find ourselves in a generation without peace, without patience. There's no patience. Hurry. Hurry. You time yourself. Imagine you are coming to God and you time yourself. You have given a lot of appointments that I'll be living here in five, three to four hours. God is not one of those things. You can time yourself to do business. You can time yourself to visit a friend. You can time yourself to visit anyone. You can time yourself to do anything. But when it comes to God, it's only. You don't time yourself to meet God. This is where you miss the mark. In our various places of worship, we have time we should leave, time to worship, time to sing in, to sing out, and time to do this, time to do that. We don't time God because it's all about inspiration from heaven. We don't instruct God, we don't tell God when to start, how to start, when to stop, when to start, when to begin. This is where you miss the mark. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here to be healed. I'm here to be blessed. This is bargaining. You are bargaining with God. You pay God, I'm here to be delivered today. This is bargaining. Simply a bribe. So whatever we now give, seem to be a bribe. That is corruption. We take that corruption to the house of God. Whatever you now give, because you are here for a purpose, whatever you give is a way of saying this, give me this. We are all sitting as if we really mean business. But because we don't have so much to do today, today is free day. That is why you give it to God. You always give God what you do not need. Time you do not need. Your quality time, you can't give it to God. You don't have any appointment today. That's why you are here. You don't give it your quality time to God. If God continues to give you what he himself do not need, as you are given change, you know when you want to give your offering? These are things you collected from petrol station chain. The money you collected from conductor. Those money you collected from where you buy and sell. Those are the change you, stop, you give to God. Is God continue to give you those change back in return? What God do not need, what you do not need. Will you say it's blessed? So because you believe you are serving God. Are you serving with your quality time, your quality strength? Let's look at what are not biblical faith. 
They say faith. We have faith. But you need biblical faith. You deny everything. When they ask you, what is your problem? You prefer to say different things. You don't tell people until you're about to die. Get you to the point of death, you can say it out. Or uh, when the doctors reject you, say, no, this is above us, then you run to God. You deny existence of a problem. Faith is not denial. Faith does not deny the existence of a problem. There's a problem. Even the Bible says, in this world, there will be tribulation. Cheer up, I have war. This problem, what should you deny? You can't deny it. Everyone has limitation. Faith is not denier. Faith does not deny the existence of a problem. There's a problem. Everybody has a medical report somewhere, your medical record. But when you are getting to the point of death, you run to God. You are ready to say, this is what I have. This is my problem. You say you are a Christian. A person has to recognize he is sick before getting healed. A person has to recognize he is sick before getting healed. He is sick and run to the healer, the savior, before getting healed. But at what point you recognize you are sick? When all hope has lost. When you have spent all your fortune. At what point you recognize you are sick and run to Jesus? When all hope has lost and everything is Confessing or not does not change the fact. Knowing fact about God does not change your relationship with him. When you put the word of God to work, Eventually, your circumstances are subject to change. Put to work the word of God. Put to work. Like last week, when I was moving around, if not the gift of prophecy, meeting some people, they will come here and say, I have fever. By the time I, I'm praying, I realized that this is HIV 1 and 2 until they get to the point of death before they say, Jesus is Lord. This is my healer. Faith is not imitation, which is common among all. Faith is not imitation. It cannot be imitated. It must arrive in each person's heart based on the word of God. Based on the word of God. It cannot be imitated. But today, what is happening? You see? Everybody, the same. Sometimes God deals with people in different ways. 
God will not meet you. Because you imitate what someone else did. This is why it's, it's a bit dangerous when you pick a textbook and you read how to pray. The Holy Spirit helps us in our prayer. When you take a textbook and begin to read how to pray, pray for deliverance, pray for this, pray for that, no. God will not meet you because you imitate what someone else did. Tell your neighbor, God will not meet you because you imitate what someone else did. That is, someone else pray. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, after watching the way the person pray, you to get there and say, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Remember, this one is being inspired to do so. You are not inspired to do so. You are only copy, you are only imitate. Some of you will pick a textbook and begin to read seven points of way to pray. You want to fast for three days because you read this so, so somewhere to, to do so. The person is being inspired to do so, not you. God will not meet you because you imitate what someone else did. God will meet you when you obey what he told you to do by the Spirit, based on his will. When you take action in obedience to God, you prosper. When you take action in obedience to who? You will. You get it. You prosper. Tell your neighbor, God will not meet you because you imitate what someone else did, like prayer, like fasting. You say somebody has me to fast, somebody, this is her, it's a stand, this traditional way. This song to sing, this how to sing it out, this how to sing it in, this is the, this is that, this is that. This is what they ask us to do. This is this, this, a lot. God will meet you when you obey what himself told you to do. And he can only say that by his spirit, based on his will. That is taking action in obedience to God. Today, faith is not an issue of ordering God around. You know, today, our prayer is to instruct God. We always instruct God. I need this. In the name of Jesus, give me, give me, give me, give me. You don't mind whether it's his way to give you. You don't even bother to know God's way before you ask. And if you ask according to his way, he gives. Faith is not an issue of ordering God around. So we pray, we instruct God, we instruct God what to do, what to give up. And when that is not given up, we feel bad. It affects our faith. Who knows what will have happened to you if your prayer for better life had been answered? A better life to buy the best car, a better life to build a beautiful house, a better life to become a governor, a minister, a senator. Who knows what will have happened? Who knows what will have happened? We are talking about those things that are not biblical faith, and we practice. We say it's faith. With many things you do, like 
many testimonies today, people came out to say, yes, I minister my money water four times. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You quickly write it down. Why writing it down when you get your own? Eh? You now say, oh, that man ministered three times, Jesus, Jesus. You now blow your own stool, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Nothing happened. But the man that is talking may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to do so. But you are not inspired. You are only imitate this man. You are imitator. Like many of us has book, we read prayer, prayer for deliverance. Turn this way, Jesus, Jesus. Another side, Jesus, Jesus. Another side, Jesus, Jesus. It gets frustrated when you do that and the prayer is not answered. But you are imitating. The man, somebody wrote it, the person is being inspired to do so, but not you. You will not meet Jesus because you imitate what someone else did. What someone else did is what you are reading. Unless you, you receive from God in yourself, you will meet God. When you obey what God told you, there is instruction. May God bless his word.